We good? Welcome to the Skinny Jean Gotta Show You Why! Yes. Running late, but looking pretty okay. We we're good. Thank you for joining us. We are live here at Sip and Tuck in Colchester, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. Tonight we have the nicest guy in the gardening world. It's Mr. Matt Biggs, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I show you guys at home how we can all start growing this year, and you guys too. You can, you can cheer if you want, that's fine, that's cool. Uh, and you guys at home and you guys here can also win big and get involved in today's show. Yeah. 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 Uh, but first, Monty, Don and Co, they are back with Gardener's World, which is very exciting. We're a little bit like Gardener's World Extra Factor, aren't we? Yeah. 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 What do you mean, Extra Factor was cut? Oh, okay, okay, we're just... <laughs> no, not, not exactly like that, okay, fine. Uh, yeah, but we're like the Gardener's World Extra. We're here. Um, also, talk about Monty, Don. Uh, we had Monty Dog Nigel on the podcast. <laughs> That's right. Highbrow, highbrow. That's what I'm talking about. Who would have thought an actual dog would get more listener figures than Michael Perry? Ooh. Ooh. Hi, Michael. Hi, yeah. thanks for watching. Uh, and also, this has been uh, National Grandparents Garden Week, which means my granddad can actually finally take me out into the garden and show me how he kills everything off with that really strong weed killer. Aww. Not so good, not so good. Uh, also, <laughs> in the paper this week, in the Times, of course I read the Times, of course oh. I do, uh, it says that just a few minutes of gardening every week can cut the risk of dying early, which is uh, yes. positive and also yeah, means I don't have to do them exercise DVDs anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone's saying, what? No, I do do them, I do do them, sure. I'll watch them at least. Uh, anyway, look, it's the Skinny Jean Garner Show. It's Friday night, and we can't start the show without these two lads. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tangerine Mandarin. Skinny Jean! Today we've got Brookie Bear. What's going on, Brooke? Hello, good evening. On the old social? I am indeed. That's right, we've got Matt Biggs down the end. Good evening. Oh, oh, good evening. Hey, hey, hey. And we've got Jace. Hello. Former guest of the uh, podcast show as well. Yeah. All podcasties. Oh, actually, Matt, you're coming out soon. Your podcast will come out very soon. Newbie, mate. Newbie. 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so, Brooke, how can we all get involved tonight? on the Facebook. Okay, so we've got a multitude of things happening tonight. So I am on the social media hub. You can comment, share, like, whatever you whatever you fancy really. Get in touch and hopefully I will be able to read out some of your comments. Um, there may be a few little surprises that you can vote on tonight. So definitely worth getting in touch with me tonight and uh, you may be on our little live show. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, in fact, if you share the show, you could go into a prize draw for this, Brooke. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, everybody, oh, yeah. everybody. Hey. This nice. amazing prize fund of tools, we've got seeds, we've got a key ring. I love it's that. All, a key ring, bro. It's all going that on. Might, that might going. not be in there. Uh, all you have to do <laughs> is share the show, and next week I will pick a winner from all you lovely people that get involved. Mm -hmm. Another way you can get involved is every week we do Chili Friday. Yeah. Chili Friday! Friday! Chili Friday! Are you alright? Oh. Overdoing your bit there, Brooke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my favourite chilli sauce is this bad boy. We're not actually uh, sponsored by him, but a bit of Midnight 21. It's nice. my favourite oh. one, but it's the hottest. It's got Caroline Reaper in. Whoa, so, oh, that's something hot. we're going to start doing on Chilli Friday is getting you guys to vote who should have the chilli or chilli sauce. So if you want me to have the chilli sauce, give it a big thumbs you. up. All right, mate, hang on. Cold <laughs> Or if you want Matt to have it, give it a heart. Oh. Ooh. oh. It's up to you guys tonight who has a bit of, and we ain't got a spoon, Matt, so. No, sorry, straight, straight from the bottle. Straight, drink yeah. it from the bottle, Love drink it. it from the bottle. You guys can get involved. And also, give us your questions below and we will uh, try and answer them. Absolutely. All of us, yeah? yeah. 
Okay, so what have we been up to in the garden, Matt? You've been up to much in the garden this week? Uh, rhubarb. Yeah. Looking Ooh. at my rhubarb, yeah, checking out my rhubarb, and it's just starting to break through the soil. It's a you know, lovely long red stem. <laughs> I've just seen how many times I could say rhubarb. Rhubarb. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's quite quiet in the garden. A friend of mine came around and bought me some plants. That was very nice. Uh, but you have to beware when gardeners bring you plants because often they'll bring you the plants that propagate really easily or are invasive. But I got a nice selection. There was some phlox, uh, quite a lot of nice late flowering. Um, Daisy, members of the Daisy family, Rudbeckias and things like that. So, you know, a good friend to have, and I'm really looking forward to it. I've got just the spot, just the spot in the garden. It's all good. Free plants. We love a bit of free plants. Gardeners love a bit of free. <laughs> Jace, <laughs> much going on, mate? Got much planned? Uh, we're laying fallow at the moment. <laughs> that is yeah. a good answer. Yeah. I live next door to a gardener. Yep. He's promised to do my garden for me. Yep. Hasn't happened yet, I'm afraid. It will happen, mate. It will yeah, definitely yeah, happen. Yeah, give, yeah. It, give it a chance. Brooke, what's going on with you? What, in the garden? Yeah. Um, may have mentioned this before. Um, I only have one plant yeah. that I'm looking after at the moment. Yeah. Um, These guys won't know about that because that was in the pre-record. Yeah, So, but I'm just saying that is the... You can introduce them now. Are you sure? Yeah, go for it. So I have a cactus called Gerald. Mm -hmm. Best friends. Um, well looked after, may I add. Yeah. Um, that is about it in my garden. I mow the lawn when I'm forced. Um, but the only garden that I, I really, Hold really on. Are you mowing the, mow the lawn? I've never seen you mow the lawn. Twice. <laughs> twice in 23 years. It's mm. twice. Um, but yeah, the only garden that I really enjoy and um, do see and tend to regularly is yours, which yeah, I, I do come yeah. round. Um, <coughs> labour. <got> <laughs> free labour. Um, so yeah, so basically I come to yours and, it, and enjoy what is there. So... You well, know, your wild seeds, your pumpkins that have been going on, loads of different things. Oh, okay. Well, can you make sure you bring Gerald in for the next live? Absolutely. Oh. So everyone definitely wants, is. Hashtag Gerald. Hashtag <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Big personality. Yeah. Big personality. He'll be sitting yeah. where you're sitting next time. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 what? Uh, there's loads going on. And if you guys want to start getting into the garden, maybe you're thinking about doing a bit. This is not going to look as good as I did it earlier, but bear with me. Sorry, Will, sorry, Will. There we go, there we go. Uh, then I'm gonna show you guys how you can start gardening uh, just by a few different ways. Now look, I always talk about this, plastic. It's being used loads at the moment and all the time. I always say, why can't we buy our plants in something a bit more either compostable or just different than plastic all the time. It's great to reuse these. If, if you buy some plants, reuse them, start potting up in them. But what other ways can you use and sow your seeds? I'm gonna give you a few little ideas. Firstly, these guys, the cardboard tube, oi oi, all right Jay over oh, there? Nice. Uh, these are the best to use. You've got loads of them hanging around. All we need is some scissors. We'll cut it in half like that. And if you're doing this, maybe you're a little bit young, just be a little bit careful with the scissors, get a parent to help you. Then we'll cut once, twice, three, four times in a cross and then fold it in like so. And we'll just turn it into like a little pot like that. And then we'll fill it with soil and then ah. sow our seeds in that. So that's a really nice little idea. Clever. Thank you, Clever. Matt. Thank you, Matt. It's got the big Z sign of approval. <laughs> uh, once again, <laughs> once again, eggs, eggshells. Little omelet, keep the eggshells. Of course, we can sow in these, just fill them with soil. And then if we get our tomato seeds, we'll knock them out, you won't be able to see them there. And we just sprinkle them on top. Ooh. and water them in there. And we can actually, once the seedings come through, just give that a little crunch before we pop it in and the whole thing can go into the ground giving the plant that goodness it needs. Mm. Another nice. thing that can go straight into the wow. ground as well, it's just orange peel. Fill it with soil. Then we get our seeds, knock them out, pop them in. Little sprinkle on top. <laughs> little sprinkle, little Jamie yeah. Oliver sprinkle like that. And then give it water. Again, this can all go in the ground as well. Another great idea. Bottle. Let's recycle them for the garden. So with some scissors, we're going to chop very carefully and very neatly. Not like this. 
the bottom off of this. And we're going to use the whole bottle today. Bottles are hard enough for it to cut through. <laughs> Again, fill that all the way with soil. And then we're going to use the top bit of this as well. So lose the lid. And once again, cut the top of this off. So we're going to sow our seeds in the bottom of the bottle. I'm going to use this as like a little mini greenhouse. And once you sow oh, your seeds, yeah, water it, yeah, put it on the windowsill, yeah, yeah. the seeds are going to grow Very really nice. fast. Now, because I want to find out why and how we can change this, I spoke to the RHS about what they're doing to try and make plastic use less in the garden industry. And they said, uh, we support the government's intentions to drive down plastic waste and are launching an internal review to set ourselves new targets for plastic waste reduction, which we'll see what happens from that. But if you've got any other ideas of how you can cut um, plastic waste in the garden world, then give it a little comment below. So we have got the awesome Mr. Matt Biggs. I'm gonna chat to him. Awesome, that's it. Awesome, Matt, Whoa. get ready for it. We've got Big Matt up. Biggs on the show. Big C. We've got Big C on the show tonight. Let's give him his intro, guys. Best intro I've ever had. That's what I'm talking fantastic. about. Mate. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Uh, mate, thank you. This shake the hands of Big Z. Oh. Thank you so much for coming on, man. Real pleasure. So good to be here. So good to be here. With Particularly because it's all about gardening. It's all about the plants. That's what it's all about. Yeah. It's that time of year now where everything's like proper kicking off, which I'm really excited about. It, it's so lovely, isn't it? Because the winter's been cold. We had the beast. Ooh. The beast made us feel bad, and then. It's almost though spring comes to the rescue, doesn't it? And, the, it? and it's the plants that are telling us. You know, the birds start singing, the sun gets up early, and then the, I just love it when the green starts to appear on the trees. It's, it's magical, isn't it? It's so atmospheric. I love it. The May, the whole earth, all that energy coming up from the ground, it just makes you feel good. Mate, honestly, I could just let you sit here in front of the camera. And just talk <laughs> I can watch that for like half hour, honestly. <laughs> it's just. True, isn't it? It's, and that's what gardening is all about. That's why we love it. It is. Do you not think it's been like, felt like a really long winter? Really, really long, actually. And I just think what I don't like is that I would ban grey skies. I would ban the grey because it's just it's too low. It's too oppressive. It doesn't, doesn't make me feel happy. As soon as the sun comes out and that lovely blue sky and the warmth, I just love the warmth. And I think the whole of of gardening is about getting out there and being part of the earth and the plants and being part of this wonderful system, this great earth that we live on. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> have you ever thought about getting into like politics, mate? No, well, funnily enough, I, I have, <laughs> but, but I, ha I discovered I got two relatives, uh, grandfathers that were in politics. So that's where it comes from. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we can't with everything he says, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not a party political <laughs> broadcast either on behalf of the Green Party. <laughs> you on the podcast in a few weeks' time, which is fantastic, so we can find out more about you there. But how you got into gardening in the first place? Um, I got into gardening because I, I, well, I worked in an office very briefly when I left school. I left school at 16 with hardly any O-levels to speak of. And my dad said, you know, you've got to go and get a job for life because that's how it was in those days. So I went and worked on the council and I was on the 13th floor of an office block and I used to look out the window and I thought, I, I can't do this, it just doesn't feel right. But nobody had ever said that you could be a guy for a living. So I went and did loads of research um, and found that I could get into college even though I've got, not got many O-levels. So I, I changed my job from the... I met a bloke in a lift actually and I found out he was the head, he was the, <laughs> the, uh, uh, the head of the parks department and I thought... I this is my chance. He's trapped in here. He can't go anywhere. I'll ask him. Uh, and I asked him, and I thought you can only say no. And he, but he actually said yes, and that made. The yeah, man. I was like, wow, it's Matt Biggs, isn't it? So what can you do? Oh, oh hi there. How are you doing, Lee here, King Jean Garner. Sorry to interrupt this brilliant broadcast, but clearly we're having some audio issues, and 
we had a few issues on the night, which means we're broadcasting it to you now live. Panic not though, that means that I can play this little piece of music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might link my ting from gardening. 7 a.m. in the morning, she's calling, I'm yawning, she's weeding, no stalling. I might link my ting from gardening. 7 a.m. in the morning, she's calling, I'm yawning, she's weeding, no stalling. I might link my ting from gardening. 7 a.m. in the morning, she's calling, I'm yawning, she's weeding, no stalling. I might link my ting from gardening. 7 a.m. in the morning, she's calling, I'm yawning, she's weeding, no stalling. My name's Lee, I got hunters from my head to my feet, that's likely, and that's pricey. You see them guys over there, they ain't like me. I got some pumpkins and some chili, she said my allotment's tiny. I got two different worlds like Monty, you hit me up, but it's unlikely. But I walk in the room with a fresh spade, showing my compost, please. Yeah, they're looking at me, saying, can I get a pick for the gram? Just like SJG, no wonder they hate on me. Cause I'm making peas and they see these seeds, yeah, I get them for free. I might link my ting from gardening, 7 a.m. in the morning, she's calling, I'm yawning, she's weeding, no stalling. I might link my ting from gardening, 7 a.m. in the morning, she's calling, I'm yawning, she's weeding, no stalling. I might link my ting from gardening, 7 a.m. in the morning, she's calling, I'm yawning. She's weeding, no stalling. I might link my ting from gardening. 7 a.m. in the morning, she's calling, I'm yawning. She's weeding, no stalling. Many gardeners, many, many, many gardeners hate me, and it's true. Too bad I just stunt on you. Too bad I don't look like you. Like many, many, many gardeners Hate me and it's true Too bad I just stunt on you Like too bad I might link my ting from gardening 7am in the morning She's calling, I'm yawning She's weeding, no stalling I might link my ting from gardening 7am in the morning She's calling, I'm yawning She's weeding, no stalling I might link my ting from gardening 7am in the morning She's calling, I'm yawning She's weeding, no stalling I might link my ting from gardening 7am in the morning She's calling, I'm yawning She's weeding, no stalling Ah dear No, I know, I thought I could be the next Big rap star, but uh, the phone's not the phone's not a uh, cool synth, so I don't. Oh, oh, hi, hi there! Hope you enjoyed that little bit in between. The second half of this show is an absolute corker. So stay tuned, get involved, and comment below if you want to win that amazing prize. Pretty, pretty amazing, amazing. Just, just run it. Just run the next bit. So everything that I do is all about getting kids and family involved, and I suppose everything you do as well is getting everyone involved in gardening. Yeah, and that's one of the great things about gardening that everyone can get involved. You know, you, however big or small your garden is, however you can grow stuff in a pot. You've got a school garden, uh, and the lovely thing I think about it is is that it breaks down barriers. Uh, I heard about a school once where um, they were really into their gardening, and they got some of the older people from the local garden club, like the and the grandpas and they brought them in to work with the children and to just to break down the barriers between the generations uh, and the older people were keen gardeners and they could show the children so it just brought back the kind of thing that used to happen yeah where it's almost like an apprenticeship where you know somebody would learn about gardening by watching and, and that's the whole thing but I think it's so important for the children 
uh, to learn because because they see the magic. I, I don't think you should ever lose the wonder of what happens in gardening. So when you, when you sow a seed, you know, we've all sown seeds. A tiny little seed and it goes into the soil and you water it and the sun shines on it. And comes down and then suddenly it emerges and suddenly it looks <laughs> totally different and grows bigger into a flower and when you think about a flower or a tree or a, or a redwood a redwood seed is only about three millimeters across and it's flat i couldn't believe it when i first saw it and it turns into that massive and beautiful tree so it, you've got to keep your wonder i think so often in this we get cynical we've seen so many things but if you can keep that wonder and excitement yeah. and amazement at what you do then it will inspire you right through your life and if you go away from gardening for a bit because of career you will always eventually in your life you know get a house or, or, or a space or an allotment or a window box there are so many ways of gardening that eventually you will come back to it you know Definitely. you can run but you can't hide <laughs> <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> um, you, we... like going back and seeing how like plant hunters and yeah, uh, what, what's extraordinary is that a lot of our garden plants, that we go to the garden centre or to the car boot or the nursery, wherever you go, have um, incredible stories. They came from Chile and China, Japan. And if you look in the old books, you get the stories of the plant hunters. And I've really got into the stories because of their adventures. Um, one of them, for example, survived an earthquake uh, in the tent. <laughs> and, and he wrote a about it. And so did his wife, who was plant collective. His, his name was Frank Kingdom Ward. This incredible story of how he survived and uh, this amazing earthquake in a tent. Um, another one called Ernest Wilson survived an avalanche that smashed his leg and sort of he was being carried in what was called a sedan chair, an old fashioned uh, means of transport where you'd have people carrying you effectively. And the sedan chair just got knocked straight over the cliff and he had his leg smashed up and all sorts of things. The same bloke, he was sent out to find one tree and he traveled 13,000 miles. And when he got there, to the place where he knew that it was, the tree had been cut down and there was a new house standing next to it. <laughs> right. And these are, real, these are real stories. So I've just started doing um, a one-man show called One Man, Two Plant Hunters. So I'm George Forrest in the first show. Um, and Ernest Wilson in the second show. And I, and I dress up in, in character and tell their stories. Oh, wow. and, and it's just one way I think of trying to communicate to people the adventure and the excitement behind a lot of the garden plants that we have. That, that's why gardening is so yeah. rich in so many things. You know, there's history and there's about diet and about uh, plants providing. You know, if you're drinking coffee, you know, that plant or cup of tea, that's a plant. So you've got economic botany, the plants that give us our clothes and everything. It all comes back to plants and that's why we should look after the planet uh, and that's why we really appreciate them and enjoy the gardens. You know, make a beautiful garden so you can sit there and relax because that's what gardening does for you. It's good for your mental health and your physical health. Everything about gardening. Apart from the weeds and the pest and disease, it's good. I mean, I've got the most accent bit down to an absolute <laughs> so I don't worry about it. Have that. you got a hammock? Uh, well, I'll get one. Because I, re I reckon a hammock is the, the way the way ahead. If you can get a hammock, that is always looks to me like proper relaxation. It doesn't have to be between two palm trees, does it? Well, well we can get some of them as well. <laughs> Sit in your hammock and point to your gardener. Staff. You, you, yeah, you need staff. staff. You need staff. Do it. Um, look, Matt, I can't let you go without talking about uh, Gardener's Question Time. Because oh. uh, I saw you last year. I was on it. I was on Gardener's Question Time with you all. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Well, great to have so, you as yeah. well. Thank you for having me. Um, what is, how is that to be on that show? Like, How did it feel to be on such an iconic show? Scary. It is scary. I, I, I feel the, uh, the ghosts of the past there and the history and the responsibility with it and because you want to share. I don't think anyone feels sort of worthy of it because of its uh, uh, because of its profile, because of its age, because who's been on the people who have been on there, because of the places that you go and the things that you find out you, know, you find out about and discover. So it's, it's really really exciting, but it's incredibly nerve wracking because you don't know the questions beforehand, and that's what I find totally terrifying. And they sit all the the questioners on the front row. And, and, and I count before each programme that I'm on. I count how many, many there, there are, and then sort of whittle and... and as it gets closer to the end, you go... Oh. Yeah, and nearer and nearer <laughs> survival. It's like sort of swimming towards a desert island. You're out in this, and you're getting nearer and nearer with each stroke, and eventually, you, you know, you, you finish, and you go... <laughs> Live to fight another day. <laughs> but it is, it is lovely, and we do meet some, you know, gardeners are great people. It brings out the good people. So, yeah, it's a real privilege. A real 
privilege and honour to do it. Oh, mate. I'm waiting for the day one day somebody taps me on the shoulder and goes, Matt, you know, <laughs> being it. fired out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, is, it, it is so lovely. But, but it's, the best bit is about being able to help. Hopefully being able to help people. I, I love the idea that you can, if you've got something as precious as gardening, you know, you share it with people and you share the knowledge and you share the excitement. And if you can do that through Gardener's Question Time or, or through the podcast or wherever it, you know, share it. Share it. Um, you can find out more about Matt on the podcast. Nice little link there. Matt. Thank you. But before you go, I'm going to test your knowledge in a game of we call Name That Seed. Uh -oh. Name that seed! Woo! Oh, go Matt! Yeah. <laughs> What's moves going on there? Uh, uh, look, we need someone from the audience to be part of this game. Who wants to be part of it? Don't all put your hands up at once. Hey! Come Anyone? on! Come on hey. Steve! Steve's yeah. up! <laughs> Steve, come stand here mate. Come stand here out of the camera. <laughs> Uh, another former guest of the podcast, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not many that ain't. Not oh, that, <laughs> that deserved it. That deserved it. Right, okay, we're gonna play a game called Name That Seed, everybody. <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> right, this is what I do. Right, I'm gonna trust you guys. Okay, you're gonna have to close your eyes. Right. I'm gonna give you some seeds to try and guess what they are. It's a tough one. It's a good game coming to a stage near you soon, no doubt. Be ready for that one, Matt. Right, okay, so. Yeah, there you go. I feel like Is it too much? Just, just, there we go, right. So one there for you. Some there for you, mate. I don't know, you've put That's anything oak. in my hand. They're in there. Right now, name that seed. Oak. <laughs> guys, name, guys, name that seed. Name that seed. <laughs> Tomato seed? Not Matt, you've got it! In one! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. It wasn't oak. <laughs> Let's have round two. Okay. Nice one, guys. Right. right, now close your eyes. Right. Keep them close. Right, Matt, here's yours. Right, Steve, tickle. here's yours. All right. <laughs> Steve, you're not cheating. That's oak. That is oak. No. <laughs> Uh, um, mustard seed. Oh, is it brown? No, it's not mustard. It's just a hunt. Steve, what do you reckon? That's grass. It's not grass. Oak. <laughs> oak, Steve, not oak. Uh, that last go. Oh, that's very difficult. Small, uh, very, very tiny. Is it lettuce seed? It's not lettuce seed, it's oh. carrot seed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Everybody, I'll name that seed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the last round. Round three, you ready? Oak. Keep them close. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's not that's oak. <laughs> uh, French beans. He's Run only on going and, on. and got everybody. No! <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat, mate. Take a seat. Carl, we're still going, everybody. Running late, running not quite on time. But we're still here. Right, let's go and sit down on the table and see what's going. Brooke, what sort of questions did we get, everyone? We've got some very interesting questions. Yes. So, from a Mr. Liam Rayner. Yes. He has a problem with his weeds. He's an open branch fence that looks under the farmland. Between this, it's a lot of weeds. There's something I can grow. Anything that can help? Question mark. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was stop. Weeds coming through. Yeah, how can yeah, I stop? Yeah. yeah, how can how can Liam stop that well, coming through? First thing, it's very difficult because they have different ways of getting into your garden. So some will uh, attach themselves to animals, perhaps that go by, like um, teasels. Uh, uh, some will go over the top, like the dandelions. Yeah. So I would say probably the best thing to do is to nip over the fence with the side of the restrimmer and trim them down, or have a word with the person who owns the property, which is even better, and ask them to keep them under control. Okay. Keep them down, yeah, keep them down. Yeah, they, because they, they, they do get through, it's a real difficulty. Yeah. Otherwise, you could try, I think, evergreen, hedge, 
might do it, but that might not be in keeping with. Yeah, could try that. Keep it natural. Keep it natural. Grab it. There you go. <laughs> um, I've got another question for you. Yes. Uh, uh, Christine yeah. has a question. It's a question for Matt, actually. Um, what is your favourite Chilean plant and why? Oh, really? This mm -hmm. question's um, from uh, Christine Moore. You're joking. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's, 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 well, uh, well, Christine, it's uh, it's very difficult, a very difficult choice. But I would say that um, the Berberis dog. Now, Berberis is uh, an evergreen plant. Looks little leaves like a holly, dark green, and, and has orangey flowers. And it was discovered by a plant collector, William Log, who's one of my favourite plant collectors. And he he was the one who brought uh, into commerce the giant redwood and the monkey puzzle tree. That's not a bad pedigree, is it? A couple of trees like that. Yeah. So he's a top but top man, top guy. The top plantsman. <laughs> we love him. There you go. Help that awesome. hope there helps you, you out, Christine. Can I just have a big shout out to yeah, the lovely people that are watching this evening? Yep. Um, I've got a Richard, Yvonne, Claire, Terry, Ruth. Um, huge thank you for, for giving us a watch tonight. You know, amazing. Yeah. Thank and, you. And voting as well. <laughs> big fan of these? Big fan. Love it. Uh, I've got a third question for Go you. Go on, hit us with it. Um, Richard Chives. Yes. Chivers. 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 Lee, I know your favourite plants are chilies. Yes. Chili Friday, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Friday. 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 Um, <laughs> what's your favourite and why? Oh, what's my favourite? Actually, you know what my favourite is at the moment? Is, uh, you've heard of Dragon before? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. hot. Have you heard of it, mate? I've heard of it. It's the moment I don't have the courage. No. It's a hot one. It's it a is hot one. so hot. Like I love chilies for their taste, but the hotter the better, isn't it? Chili fried it, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be. No, the hotter, the better. The hotter, the better. But the chilies, everyone should. Let's have a chili grow along, shall we? Yes. If you want to grow chilies at home, let's all get involved in it. Let's do grow some. See how we get on. Get involved in chili fried. Yeah, just send yeah. us your photos. Everything. Let's go for it. Yes. And one last question, Ruth. Uh, from a Sasha. Miss Sasha. Yep. Yeah. What is the most fun exotic plant Matt has grown? Oh, oh well, that's a good question. Um, there's so many different exotic seeds, and I don't want to admit to ever having brought anything back from abroad. Oh, so, yeah. that's the other thing. so I think the uh, the most unusual exotic plant that I've grown is uh, something called a detura, right? It's a detura, and it's known as an angel's trumpet, and they produce wow. these beautiful hanging flowers. And there's one called um, Datura, or Brugmansia, they're sometimes called. Or Volcanicola, and it's just found on one mountain in Colombia, and I've grown that. But you know what? That's incredible. It's never flowered. Oh. It's not flowered. Yeah. One day. Yeah, one day. <laughs> one day. So it doesn't like one hot, but it's making its feelings known. Wrong county. Bring <laughs> but it's a bit yeah. 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 <laughs> Bring it down. It but it's an right. it is a very <laughs> exciting plant. And I am willing it. Come on, come on! <laughs> Absolutely. Right, get Absolutely. these flowers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, Brooke, Chili Friday, what are the results? What's going on? Okay. Who's going to win, me or... No, not win. Who's going to lose, me or Matt? If I have a little look at the, <laughs> the poll this evening. Yeah. Um, so who was the thumbs up? Me. Me, I'm afraid it's you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Great result. Come on, Lee. No spoon. I'm not drinking the whole bottle. No, no, at least yeah, yeah half. Yeah, half. half. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it in a sec. I'll do it in a sec. Okay. It's nice. Smell it. Let me smell it. Can we all smell it? Caroline Reaper. Mmm. Nice. Bit of honey in there. Bit of honey. <laughs> I'll do that in a second. <laughs> Look, uh, remember, if you share this video, then you can win this amazing Brooke and Matt. This amazing, Ooh. amazing Ooh. prize fund. But look, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for taking part as well. And carry on commenting below, and I'll get back to all of your questions. Thank you very much to Mr. Matt Biggs. Thank you very much to Brooke and Jason being on the table. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much to all you guys for being here. Thank you very Woo. much for you for watching. Uh, and look, can't end the night. Uh, a little song from these guys. It's their brand new single.
Hand your mandarin if you want. Yeah. Thank you everyone.